Sheena, thank you for joining us today to discuss what must be a difficult chapter in your life. The time you got into a bar fight with somebody who pulled a broom on you. It was actually not in a bar. Oh. It was actually um, a school fight. What time of day did this fight occur? This was right after school. I was in a soccer game and I was a goaltender and I was a good goaltender. And all of a sudden I hear this girl screaming at me from the sidelines. You fat cow, you're out to pasture. She attacked you. She was uh, discriminatory towards your body type. That's right. Which many people find there are people who go go for that. A lot yeah. of people. Yeah. This girl was rude. And I let her know, after, after the, the game, game, I'm coming for you. And I did. And did right you finish the game? game? We finished the you game finished the and game. we won with a landslide. So she goes into the school and uh, I chased her in there. I went in after her. Good and thinking. I thought she was running away from me. Then she comes out of this janitor closet with a big mop broom, this big. One of those big, like, mop <clears throat> broom things. Are you talking about the, the broom, the big push broom? The big push broom, the one, the long ones. So not really a mop, more of a, like, bristles. Yeah, it was, well, it's like a, it was kind of like a long mop broom, broom mop. You got the stem. Right. And then the piece of wood with the bristles? Yeah. That's not a mop. Bristly mop That's thing. just what, you, you don't get it wet. Oh. Mop. Is, is got longer, f more flowing bits on the end. Right. You get wet and you mop up. Yeah, well this was it's sort a push of a, broom. it was like a combo broom, I guess. It's co combo mop broom, sort of. Revolutionary. Yeah, it, was some, it, was, it wasn't like Swiffer type styles. It was no, like, no, I don't no. know. It's not like, in that school, not in that neighborhood. No, no. no. So continue, she comes at so, you with a mop She comes at me with broom. a mop push broom. Yeah. And she hits me in the side with this thing. And I grabbed it here and just enough that I lift my leg. I kicked her in the face with my cleat, punctured a hole right through her cheek, and effed up her braces. She was done. My braces. And then I hit her a few times with the broom, and then I got suspended for four days. Do you consider yourself a hero? Yes. I'm a hero of, I would say, other fat people who have been discriminated against. I stood up for myself. You're not going to call me these names. No. You're going you're gonna to get told, and you're going to get a cleat in your face. Beautiful, so. beautiful words. When I think about the girl who sits behind me when I do the show, I no longer think of a girl who does not know how to use the internet, even though that is your job. I think of a girl who does not know how to use the internet, but can p puncture your face with a soccer boot. Fantastic. Thank you, Sheena.